Don't buy the lies. The tobacco industry lied to Congress, and now they are lying to you. The African American Tobacco Control Leadership Council endorses Proposition 29. On June 5th, vote yes on Prop 29. Vote yes for cancer research. Vote yes to save black lives. Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Gardner. I'm a program officer at the University of California Office of the President Tobacco-Related Disease Research Program. I've been in this position for the last 15 years, and I oversee a wide range of um, tobacco-related disease research. I'm here today to talk to you about cancer in African Americans and why we should support Prop 29. I'm also the co-chair of the African American Tobacco Control Leadership Council in California. And in, from these two positions, fortunately or unfortunately not, I've seen how the ravages of cancer has affected our community. I guess the first thing I'd like to say that the main killer of black people in the United States and in California are tobacco-related diseases. Most outstanding in this regard are lung cancers that affect African-American males most, but they also, African-American females, die 20% more often from this than other um, groups of women. A lot of this, or I should say all of this, is occasioned by the tobacco industry itself that has been a predatory marketing in our community for the last 50 years. They focused, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the predatory marketing. Um, we have funded studies that show conclusively that cigarettes in black communities in California, in the African American community, are cheaper, there are more advertising, and there's more promotion of menthols to our people. The thing with menthol is, the bottom line with menthol is, is that it makes the poison go down easier. The tobacco industry has spent tr literally hundreds of millions of dollars over the last 50 years to convince people that menthols are healthier for them, they're sexier, they're sleeker, and all of that. But the real thing that it does, it allows the smoke to go down and penetrate your lungs much more deeply. Now, the tobacco industry already, and it's not even the 5th of June, has spent nearly, or spent over $40 million to promote no on 29. They have um, put a whole array of lies together, and I'd like to take a minute to confront some of them. So I guess firstly, they've got ads both in print and in media, I'm on the radio, on the television, and in print, that state money that comes from um, the revenues from this tax will be sent out of state. This is not true. The legislation itself says directly that monies will be used only in California. They also say that this is going to impose a tax on Californians. Well, no, that's not true either. It'll impose a tax on people who buy tobacco products. And frankly, those are a, a small sector of the California population. I've been the person who's overseen the policy and regulatory sciences research um, at the university, and we funded a study four years ago that showed conclusively, this is a published study, and I'd be willing to um, share the documentation with you. We sh the study showed that raising cigarette taxes one dollar, if you just raise taxes on cigarettes one dollar, that there will be a savings, a health care savings in California of between three billion to twenty eight billion dollars over the next five years. Three to twenty eight billion, this is not minor amount of money, so just from raising taxes. Moreover, and it's not only that um, monies will be saved, lives will be saved, children will be prevented from starting cigarettes. There's, there's literally dozens of studies that show that raising cigarette taxes, that raising cigarette taxes um, keeps youth from taking up cigarettes. And this is particularly true of minority youth. There's been a lot of discussion about how um, raising taxes is going to hurt poor people and minority people and hurt black people. In the short run, it may cost more for cigarettes, but in the long run, it's going to be beneficial to our community and beneficial to the health of everybody around. In fact, there will be more people, I mean, there will be more people not starting smoking, and this will be beneficial to our community. Even 
not only will it save billions of dollars, even more recent research, so the people who did that initial research re-looked at the data and looked at it from a different way and found that in the next five years, if Prop 29 were to pass and the cigarette tax goes up one dollar, that additional 12, excuse me, an additional 12,000 jobs would be created in California. So this, this, calm down, this lie that the um, tobacco industry um, tells you about how they're going to be losing jobs going out of state. In fact, just the opposite is going to happen, that 12,000 people um, will be employed. Unfortunately, the tobacco industry has used a number of people in our own community to put these messages out and to spread their vicious lies. I want to encourage you not to be fooled by this. Cancer research we know will save lives. We know that money is dedicated to tobacco control, which monies from Prop 29 will go to, will go to invigorate the California Tobacco Control Program. This is the same program that had the in-your-face tactics and campaigns that led to California having now the second lowest smoking rate in the United States. We need to reinvigorate that program with monies, and those monies can come from Prop 29. It'll be imperative when, 28, when 29 passes that we direct all our attention to our state of California Department of Public Health and strongly encourage them to dedicate specific monies to tobacco control, tobacco prevention, and tobacco education in the black community. We are the ones suffering the most from this onslaught, we're targeted the most by the tobacco industry, and we deserve the necessary um, resources to fight this back. Again, I'm Dr. Philip Gardner. I'm with the African American Tobacco Control Leadership Council. I also work at the Tobacco-Related Disease Research Program at the University of California Office of the President. Thank you very much.